Well, good morning. We were almost a little late taking a tour of Arvada as we figured out how to, how to get to the church. But I'm glad we made it. On behalf of the Mission and Service Committee team, um, I would like to talk a little bit about the Christmas Fund. It's our mission moment, annual mission moment, and we will be collecting next week. By the way, if you'd like to join the mission and service team, there's plenty of room and we have all kinds of fun and do good things. Let us know right after church. <laughs> and I'm having a little trouble with my vision this morning, but um, well, the Advent season, waiting and watching, is also the season of preparing our generosity. Our generosity prepares the way for hope, peace, justice, and community. The United Church of Christ retired clergy, servants of the church, have spent lifetimes baptizing and blessing, teaching and preaching, marrying and bearing, comforting and empowering God's people. Now through the Christmas Fund, the Veterans of the Cross, we have the opportunity to sustain and empower them. Our gifts of gratitude and love bring hope to the hopeless, joy to the sorrowful, and deep love to those who have ministered in God's love for so long. By giving generously to the Christmas Fund, we will help retired clergy, church staff, and their families to pay bills, maintain health insurance, and meet emergency needs. Year after year, our gifts make a difference, easing the anxiety of constant financial worries. Last year, the Christmas Fund, administered by the pension boards of the United Church of Christ, provided over 1.6 million in pension and health benefits supplementation, emergency grants, and thank you checks to retired servants of the church and their families. Every cent of that money came from the pockets of people like you. So please consider giving generously as you are able to this year. And uh, just a couple of things, the monthly pension supplementation for 231 retired clergy and lay employees for last year raised $1,104,479. And uh, there's more to that, but I'll keep this short. So um, we all know and appreciate the work that Karen does for our church. And there's many other uh, smaller churches um, here in the Denver metro area and in rural areas where they don't have uh, the support that that we do for Karen, so um, they really rely on this fund, and and I would appreciate it if you would take that into consideration. Thank you very much.